Hey, this is James with the Board Game Network. I'm here today to explain the rules to the game. That's right, that is the name of the game. The game. That'll make it really hard to find on Google because every game has the word game in it. Every board game, every card game. Um, it's put out by IDW Games. And it was a 2015 Spiel du Jour winner. So that's how good this game is. Uh, it plays from one to five players in about 20 minutes and it's eight years old and up. And this is the game that has only one rule. One rule, people. All you gotta do is shuffle the cards. You have a deck that's f numbered from one to a hundred. There's two hundreds, two ones, but that's it. Everything else is just a number from two to 99. You deal out cards if you're playing alone. You deal yourself eight cards, two people, seven cards, three, four, or five, you get six cards. But the goal of this game, this one rule, is to play every card out of the whole deck onto four piles. You get four chances to play every card in the deck. And you'll notice that the, on the 100s, there's a down arrow. So like if I deal myself some cards and I wanna play, I have to go down on those two stacks so starting at 100, I could play a 98, or a, uh, I'd want to start with a 99, a 98, a 96, a 92, an 89, something like that. Or And you can play on all four stacks. You have a minimum two card play, so you have to play at least two cards, but you can play your whole hand if you want to. And these two, car, these two stacks go up because they've got an up barrel. So you're building up on the ones, you're building down on the hundred stack, and you play off to the side so you don't cover up the arrows. And then when you're done playing, however many cards you decide to play, you draw back to your original hand size. And that's the whole game. You can't communicate with other players. You can't say, hey, I've got a 57 and, or a 99 or whatever. You can say stuff like, don't play on this stack, or don't jump very far on this stack, or something like that. But there's one exception to this rule, and that one exception is very important. You can, with your building down on these stacks and building up on these stacks, you can actually jump backwards 10. If you have a card that is exactly 10 backwards, you can play it. So on a an on a 89, I could play a 99 because that's 10 backwards. If I had something like an 81 on the stack going up, if I had a 71, I could play the 71 on the 81. So I can work my way backwards. I just threw a couple of examples out here. Um, so if I had something you want to look for when you're playing the game, you want to look for the top of the stack and see if you've got any cards that are 10 backwards in your hand from that number. That's very important to do before you start playing. And then also you want to look to see if you've got cards that are 10 away from each other in your hand. So let me grab a couple of cards here real fast. Okay, let's say that we have these cards in my hand. I usually put them in numerical order. Let's say I've got an 86, an 84, a 76, a 74, and a 71. And this is the stack as it is when it's my turn. And you'll notice I look around and I go, I have a 71 that's 10 backwards from the 81. Okay, so instead of just trying to jump from 81 to 84 and 86, which is the obvious play, I'm going to, I've got two more cards in here. I've got a 74 and a 76. If I jump backwards, and play the 71, then I can play the 74, the 76, the 84, and the 86. So that's an example of being able to go back and pick up some of those that you missed the first time. And here's a second example if we have these cards in my hand. This is kind of a, a stair step ladder or something here. We've got an, an 89 here and we're going down. And here's my cards. 90, 88, 85, 83, 80, and 75. You'll notice that I don't have a 99, so I can jump backwards like that. But what I do have is I have a 90 and an 80 here, and I also have a 75 and an 85. So 
So I've actually got two different ones that are separated by 10 and they are um, not below each other or above each other. They are mixed together kind of like this. But what I can do is I can, if I just play this stuff in order, I can't play the 90, I could play every single card here and in this deck at 75. Well, instead of doing that, do something like play the 88, skip over this one, the 85, go on to the 83, skip over the 80, now you'll notice I left the two that are separated by tens. Now I can play the 75 and then jump backwards 10 to the 85. And then I can come back down to the 80 and jump back upwards to the 90. So I could play my hand or several cards out of my hand and leave that deck with a 90 on top instead of the 75, which is very key to understanding how to win this game or how to get a good score on this game. The game ends when you run out of cards and you can't play your minimum play. Remember you have to play at least two cards in your hand until the deck runs out. So once the deck, the draw deck is gone, then you drop to a minimum of one card each person has to play. And if somebody can't play their minimum play, the game's over. And what you do is you count the number of cards in the deck and add up all the cards that are in everybody's hands. And if that is less than 10, that's considered an excellent, uh, excellent score. So, and if this wasn't hard enough, they even give you a couple of optional rules for experts. And those optional rules are, you have a minimum three card play on your turn. And if that's not hard enough, they say to decrease your hand size by one. So that is the game that only has one rule. That rule is to play every card that you can on top of one of four stacks. So you're gonna have some, some cards here and you're gonna have some cards here. And these will eventually build up to 99 or however high and those will eventually get down to two or as close as you can. So there's a simple, simple game. It's very easy to play. So you can play that with your kids, your family, your friends, and the, you just have to tell them. It's the game with only one rule and they'll say, hey, let's play.